Today I'm going to cover on how to do a sensitivity analysis in Excel. I'm going to be going through two different methods. The first method being the most basic one where you're analyzing up to two variables and another method in which we analyze multiple variables by setting up our own custom template sheet. The way we're going to do this is we're going to analyze a DCF for the Shin Financial's brokerage business and I do encourage you to review this model and kind of understand how this projection is working. But for our sake, we're going to dive right into the sensitivity analysis. The whole objective is to assess which variable is the internal rate of return the most sensitive to between the four variables of commission, annual trade volume, the growth rate and trade volumes, and lastly, the trading cost. The very first step that you need to do is that your input values and your output values which is the DCF and the IRR, are all on the same sheet. Otherwise, the function that we want to use cannot process. Now, there are ways to work around this and take a longer route. However, the most efficient way to do this is to make sure that your inputs and your outputs are all within the same sheet. So when we set up the template, what we want to do is first reference the output, which is the IRR, and then we want to set up the inputs that we want to test the sensitivity for. As I've mentioned, it only goes up to two variables. So we're going to start with commissions and then annual trade volume. So we first want to bring in commissions here and then the annual trade volume. The way we want to assess the sensitivity is to see how our IRR changes based on a 1% increase. Once you have this template set up, what you want to do is go into the data tab and then click what if analysis and then click data table. You will now have two inputs to specify, the first one being your row, which is your horizontal values, and then your columns, which are your vertical values. So for the row input cell, which is the 295 all the way to 310, I'm going to click in the commissions. And then for the column input, which is the annual trade volume, I'm going to click the 500,000. It's important that you actually reference the cell that is being used to drive these models because Excel will understand the relationship between your output, which is your IRR, and the input that you're assessing. So once I press OK, it will then generate me the IRR under the multiple different variable scenarios. However, the question is, which variable is the IRR most sensitive to? And we actually have four variables. So if this function only goes up to two variables, what can we do to solve this problem? It's actually very simple. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to create a second table. First is the growth rate. And the next is the trading cost. So let's actually copy this format here. And then we're going to also, again, just go back to data, click what if analysis. And this time our row input is going to be the growth rate. And then our column input is going to be the trading cost. And once I press OK, we now have the IRR outputs. However, we still have to assess which variable is the IRR most sensitive to. In order to assess this, I'm going to add some rows. And first, bring in the variables that I'm going to work with, which is this section over here and then organize the results based on the percentage change that we've assessed. And lastly, we're going to create a section called average. We're going to also call the section output. And all we have to do is compile these results into this section over here. And just for completeness, let's also add a 0% section as well. And what we want to do is just copy these results into each category. You can also choose to make this dynamic if you'd like, but it is not necessary unless you plan to go through multiple scenarios of sensitivity. And then for average, we're just going to average the results. 
And then right under, we're going to create a section called sensitivity. And what we're going to do in this section is calculate the difference in IRR per percent change in variable. And as a result, you can see that the commission change or each percent change in the commission per trade volume has an average impact of 3% to IRR. So for example, right now we have 13.31% IRR. If we were to increase this by an additional percent, we can see that IRR increased by around 0.3%. So the answer to this question would be that the commissions per trade dollar would be most sensitive to the impact of the IRR. And again, if you have more variables that you need to assess, I suggest building out additional tables to drive the output section and then calculate the sensitivity impact of each variable that you're assessing. I hope this video helped you gain insight in how to do a sensitivity analysis in Excel and the different approaches to tackle this. I'm going to be uploading more educational content, so follow for more.